Justin Ellis here at CompLegends.com, the premier fitness league online. And we've got weekly challenge number 19, CHOP. And this has got a lot of significance, and we're excited to go over it, uh, to, to remember, to celebrate, and honor a, a community member of ours in this workout. And so through his challenge, we are going to go through our own challenge in, in honor in that. So here's the workout um 19 chop so taking a look here and excited about the pieces to this and, and the significance that you know we're going to to honor him in so a partner workout and you start off with a buy-in of 90 deadlifts let me start off by saying this too if you have an axle bar that's what we're trying to use here uh he was a truck driver and just the grit that he shown every day, it just makes sense to go with an axle bar here. So if you have one, um, <clears throat> excuse me, use one here, 115 for guys, 75 for ladies. So we're not talking about something extremely heavy here, but that axle bar is going to change that up. If, if you just got a regular bar, that'll work too. You might throw on five or 10 pounds uh, to increase the stimulus just a little bit. That buy-in will be preceded by uh, sorry, will be uh, followed by two rounds of seven hang cleans with the same axle bar, same weight. And that is each. I go, my partner goes. So I got to knock out my seven. They got to knock out their seven. Seven, uh, and then 17 toes to bar. We see the gymnastics here. And this, though, can be split up how you see fit between you and your partner. So um, make sure that it's... Uh, maybe maybe your gymnast athlete of the group can knock out more. You can go all 17 if you want to on the first round, and then, hey, partner, you get the next 17 on, on the next round, however that works out for you. Uh, we follow that up with 74 double-unders. Oh, I should say 717. That uh, was the month and date that he was born. 90 was the year that he was born. Right down the middle there, 74 double unders. That was his, his jersey number that he represented in football. Um, in his community, widely known, this is at 74 for Albert Gonzalez. That can be broken up how you see fit between you and your partner. We move to eight push press, and this is, again, like the hang cleans. I go, you go, or whatever order. You don't have to even stick to the same. Then we go to 16 pull-ups. This can be broken up how you see fit. If somebody's better there, let them do a little bit more. You know, this is a strategy tip. Uh, so we see 816. That was uh, August 16th. That was the day of his passing. Cash out after two rounds of all that we just talked about will be uh, finished with 21 tire flips. So we said he was a truck driver. He delivered tires. He threw tires around. And he, he would go from uh, basically Houston area to Colorado. Uh, on a weekly basis, delivering these tires and, and worked hard doing so uh, for his family and, and for his career. Tires should be fairly large if you have them because two people can work at the same time on this. So both of you can flip this tire together to finish this workout. So kind of a fast 21 tire flips if possible. You know, diving into this a little bit more as far as strategy, Obviously, on the barbell movements that you have to just knock out each, you just got to do. There's not a whole lot of strategy there. Um, you got to know your strengths and weaknesses. But I still like some split there. So I'm, I'm pretty good at double unders if my partner's not. You know, even if I go for 50, 55 and, and get my partner to knock out 20, that gives me a little bit of break to go f a little bit fresher or recovered into the push press. Same thing with the toes to bar. Like if, again, if I feel like I'm better at toes to bar and I'm better at double unders, that could cause an issue if I'm doing a majority of both right back to back. So time out when people are going more, more so, cause it's going to be you go and then I go and we're finished. Um, so if my partner comes out and gets seven toes to bar, cool. I'm going to finish those last 10 and he needs to be ready or she needs to be ready to go onto the, the jump rope and the double unders. Um, same thing with the push press and the pull-ups. I mean, it's the same same strategy there. A little bit more. I, I got a, maybe in the deadlift department, I had my partner do, a, you know, 10 to my 8 so that I save some of that grip for maybe some doing some more of the pull-ups and some more of the toes to bar. Talking about chop and finishing out the episode on, a, you know, personal note on why the workout is 
the workout and why it was so significant. This this man, he came into the gym wanting to change his life, you know, a month and a half ago with health concerns. And he really committed to it. You know, I, I run a gym and he was messaging me on a regular basis and his friends that were in the gym. And he was really pumped up about doing this. You know, he, he battled in the gym. He battled at, at the hospital. And I just think that's who Chop was. That was not going to stop him from from pushing and battling. Um, unfortunately, in these times and what we do know and what we don't know, we ended up in a position that we are now. And that is celebrating, remembering, and honoring the life of Albert Chop Gonzalez. He was a father to two boys, uh, a son, a brother, a loyal friend, and will never be forgotten. And I think when we get into a moment like this, and I, I wasn't nearly as close to him as obviously his family and friends uh, that, that have known him for years. We get in a moment like this, and it's the fear of for, you know forgetting someone. You know, I've been in this situation with family members before, and I think that's a lot of it is this this fear, this fear of they're gone forever and are they forgotten? And how do we, how do we not forget these people that touched our lives that, that, you know, are part of our lives and, you know, hope and and that he plays a part in that hope that he inspires people to have hope and make changes. And that's what we want to do. We want to honor him and, 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 continue on the memory but also use that to help somebody else out down the road the story the workout the person the kids the family members the friends so i think it's in our duty to to keep that alive to keep that moving forward in his honor you know it affected our community because it affected our members and he was he was a member and his girlfriend's a member and you know, well, that's that's one big thing that I love about CrossFit and in most boxes, I'm sure, that it is a tight knit community, which can be good and bad in the beginning, but <clears throat> overall, we've got to have these people around us giving us hope and telling us it's going to be okay, and we've we've got to move forward. Time does not stop. So, for those that are in mourning, you know. I pray for y'all. I'm thinking about y'all. I know everyone around y'all is thinking about y'all. And these times are tough. And we do have a duty to do moving forward for each and every one of these folks. Um, We can't forget that. But right now, do what you got to do to get back on track. And uh, know that people are there for you. Just like he would have been. So... Jumping back to, <clears throat> you know, the workout. Have fun with this one, guys. I, you know, as tough as it is, some of these hero workouts and and, and these these workouts that we honor folks in are, are tough because of, you know, in the grand scheme of things, we're working out. But it is a way to honor folks. It is a way to honor the fallen. And don't forget to let me know how those workout goes. You can go to complegends.com or at comp legends at uh, on Instagram and just let us know, let us know if you got a story. I think we all have a story through these times or through our life. There's always going to be stories. And right now we need that hope. We need that inspiration. So send me a message, comment it. We'll put it on the website. Just want to know what yours is. All right, guys, until next week, uh, let's be comp legends.